Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing amazing. I thought what could be better on this beautiful day than give you guys free premium coaching as well. Once again, today I thought I want to give you at maximum every fundamental you need to know in order to climb. As you know, I've, I'm a full-time coach and a change of players in six years. But with this type of, type of content, my goal is to give you guys free, co uh, free coaching so you guys can learn without having to pay a lot. Here, we are considering walking closer. I do believe that there's nobody nearby, so maybe we can go for a sneaky catch. I'm going to play it very slow. I'm going to wait with using my Q. I'm not going to use my Q instantly. Maybe he's going to use his flash. I'm going to see if I get in range. I'm not going to go further because he probably has ghosts and it just runs away. So I make sure I'm not going to use my flash here as well it's better to save it and i was not 100 percent sure as the enemy covers i was the reason why i face check this is because i do was very confident that there was no one nearby and that i just can go for it for free because if there was enemies they would have shown a little bit earlier and tried to contest on this pantheon as well now keep in mind usually you want to be very consistent and you want to avoid kind of situations like that but of course if the darius goes that that deep we're just gonna punish him and get a free summoner here as well a master you don't really Really need a leash but it's absolutely fine i'm gonna show you now how to win this game and play in a way because most of you guys i have that on my coaching clients that i see they play in a way that they hope the enemies do mistakes and i can give you a massive coaching tip that um you should never play in a way that you just hope like you do something and you don't do actively something you just wait that the enemies do a mistake okay Pantheon got first blood just because the darius was very aggressive and we got his flash so you should always play in a way that no matter the enemies do you will always get a good outcome no matter what the darius would have done here if he flashes ghosts runs dies whatever i would get a good outcome because i get his flash okay we see briar invaded my bot side now this is a very interesting move do we contest this? We're considering to contest this. Maybe we are, maybe we're not. Okay, she died. She has 8 CS. So she did my wolves and she did my red, my blue buff. I'm gonna try to engage on her. I'm just gonna insta use flash, auto attack. I got the kill here and very easy. Now, guys, you can say what the fuck is just going on. That was very simple. But let me be honest here. When the enemies invade you like this, even if they do not die here like the briar did you never really lose much look what i'm doing i'm not gonna go for the wrap buff yet i'm gonna go for crux i check if the wave is gonna spot me here on the bot lane and i just have a ward there and see if briar is gonna try to contest her red buff if she goes for it i don't need to instantly fight for this red buff i do am stronger but i'm still into enemy ter territory so i'm gonna be making sure i'm pretty safe as you can see look how i'm gonna play it i'm just gonna wait here a tiny bit until she presses w to engage now i'm just gonna walk close i don't have flash i don't know this but she probably pressed w so there's nothing that can happen to her i'm just gonna attack her we do know she has no ability we try to dodge this here actively and as you can see if i went for the wrap buff instantly it would have been way worse i can just go for the crux and that is very simple now why is going for the crux better and why did i know it so easily why do i never have problems playing the game from any elo be below master tier i always have absolutely zero problem playing why is that i'm gonna reset here instantly i'm gonna buy boots and recurve bow uh, uh noon kiver and boots that's just way too good of a bag to not instantly take it getting my bots at camps is pretty inconsistent because i'm very slow at clearing and on the other hand i can just be very fast at dragon spawns in 48 for example now i'm not even gonna go top scale i'm gonna give this to brian i'm just gonna get my wolves into my grumpy and my blue buff is killed and then i'm probably just go for dragon okay now so why is it so easy for me because again what i said earlier the tip i play in a way that no matter what the enemies do i get a good outcome what happens if i start the wrap off and briar contests this with nami and ash i would probably be dying so when the enemies play it correctly i will be fucked but what if i take crux and then if the enemies come i try to run away and what if i take crux and the enemies try to contest wrap off but i'm at crux or that wrap off no matter what happens i will have a good outcome so i will always be in a good position if you have two smites you kind of want to always use the smite okay i'm gonna use it mid lane is half hp i'm considering going for gank bot then doesn't look very consistent panfin also snowballs without me I'm just gonna walk slow, uh, close to see what Katarina's up to. Most likely it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna see if I can get an engage off here. Auto attack reset. She could be dying from the burn here. Does. I don't know why she walked up. But if she does a mistake, I'm gonna punish her. And if she walked away in a straight down, I would have also just got a very good outcome. They doesn't seem like they're gonna need some help. We do not see Briar on the map. So I'm gonna danger pink topside right now. Very simple. The dragon walks. So Briar's actually here. Very close. Briar bot. I'm, go I'm just gonna know it because of the dragon walking let's see if the dragon walks further actually no briar's not bot 
Briar walked because of this fiddle thingy here. Because of this fiddle thingy, the dragon walked. That's crazy, actually. Um, I intentionally talk very fast and very openly because my goal with this coaching... Okay, I'm gonna actually go for the chickens and put a deep board and then reset. My goal with this coaching is that I play my heart out while personally always explaining so you guys can take away as much as possible. I don't care if it's it's hard for me. I need to drink some water. I'm struggling talking permanently, but my main goal is that you can learn. And I have something later for you that will also maybe make your days. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna see if we find a bot thing. I'm half HP. I don't have ult. I don't have flash. We kind of don't want to go for this even though it looks free. And now back to getting consistent this bot lane play is free yes but it's not free enough the chance we get a good outcome here was in my guess around 70 percent but as you know for my course i have it in the description by the way or for my streams and everything i only go for plays above 80 percent especially in a game like this where we will for sure carry those games so why did i not gank bot then even though it looked free because if i play 100 games and i gank bot then like this 100 times there will be 30 games where i end up not getting something where i'm fucked where i get behind do i want to have one game out of 100 games where i potentially lose below master tier no doesn't matter if i'm playing an admiral doesn't play, matter if i play diamond if i'm playing gold and silver i want to consistently have 100 percent win rate i'm not gonna lose a single game because with the fundamentals i have on the course with my knowledge with my confidence with my focus i'm gonna go for plays like this how high is the chance i kill the darius he ghosted how high is the chance i still kill him it's 100%, 100%, 100%. There is no escape for him, you know? So this play is extremely consistent. Even if I walked early, if I wait a little bit, it's always consistently 100%. And I'm gonna climb with a consistent 100%. And that is, for example, one fundamental I have on the course, which is when to gank, when to farm. Now, you will realize that when I play, for example, also on Challenger, that I will be farming a lot. The reason why that is, is not that, like, farming... Like, farming is your main job as a jungler in general, yes. But the reason why that is, is because in 90% of the time, in Challenger, there are not good options to gank. The lower elo I play, the more options will be offered, because the more the enemies do mistakes. Look at the map. Why am I not ganking midland right now? Yasu pings me. I... Listen to his co communication and not following him. I say, sorry, can't go mid right now. I'm trying my best to communicate. I think I could have communicated that better. But mid lane is not secure. Karina can escape easily. She's full HP. She has flash. I don't know where Briar is. He says, yes, it's no problem for him. But on the other hand, I go bot lane. Why? You see Briar mid lane. She covers the Ocarina. I may have died, might have just died there for no reason. I'm going to take my camps. That's exactly how I explained it in the course. Very consistent. And I'm just gonna walk bot lane. Oh, I just press Alt and Q. Oh, was that complicated? I guess I should have ganked mid lane to try to kill the Yasu, right? Should I, guys? Should I? Question mark. Should I? Should I? Should I have ganked mid lane? No, I should not. And that is not complicated. Now I'm gonna ping enemy red buff. I'm not scared of Briar. I hardcore win against her 1v1. Okay, that actually cancels me. I'm gonna try to dodge this one here. If she's gonna use E, I probably... I need to respect her probably. I'm just gonna hold some distance. I'm just gonna W here against damage. Actually crazy that it still hit me. I should have probably just flashed away or just hold distance. I didn't expect to beat her easier than this. I have a lot of gold in the pocket. Probably I should have reset. The chance was around 90%. It's still good to go for it. It's above 80. But it could have been better here as well. Okay, I'm gonna get Kraken here. Next, I'm gonna buy another dagger. You don't buy more than this. I want to go Rage Pit. As you know, on my Yi guide, this is the best build I would recommend. I need to drink some water now, otherwise I go crazy. Type in the comments what you think about this, guys. I ask this every time, and I want to play other champions. I will try to do everything for you guys. I do it like once a week of coaching like this. We can always stay tuned for it. It's not easy to always do it, but I try my best. I try my best, guys, so you're all satisfied. Again, I can do it for every elo, so every elo also sees what they have to do particularly. Okay, but let me know. Let me tell you. It does not change throughout the elos. I'm just gonna walk it. I'm not gonna kill him. I'm not gonna kill him unless he does a mistake. Seems like he's playing very aggressive. I don't know why he does so. I'm way stronger than him. There's no reason, room for him to fight. What would I have done if he didn't fought, fight me, guys? What would I have done? Think about it. You can pause and think about it. What would I have done if he just didn't fight me and walk away? I would have just taken, taken void grabs, get scuttle, get my chickens, get my bots I can, play dragon, play consistent, make sure I'm never dying, make sure I'm in a good position, make sure the enemies can't play the game. 
and, and Darius would have just chilled top lane. But because he does a mistake, I punish it. So I'm not ganking top lane to be like, I want to help Pantheon. I want to kill the Darius. I gank top lane because I'm like, Darius already did a mistake. I'm going to punish it. Here, walk mid lane. Let's see how that goes. I'm going to run straight for bot lane. Okay, he resets. Katarina dead for 16. Has no TP. I'm going to push out the wave. It's it's not, a ca it's not a cannon wave, so I can push it out really easily. Another topic I explain on the course like if you have watched the course i'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who already watched the course you know and understand and learn i need to be careful of briar ult here yeah the game way faster if you already know the topics like i will show you that right i will show you that right now okay i have it even prepared here okay so here's my course i have it in the description you can check it out here are all the topics that is explained here you know how valuable this coaching this game is already now imagine how valuable it actually is if you get something where i put my heart out for months fully focus on everything i can do so you can learn as much as possible i can say fk for a while because i'm such an insane position because of those fundamentals that it is gets easy and it and uh, for those who don't know me it doesn't matter if i play in master tier if i play in in, in diamond gold or whatever it is it is always the same it always looks the same now these are exactly the things you need to look out for how when to gank when to farm how when to play for win conditions we didn't even talk about this today optimize your gangs through wave management that is why i pushed mid lane for example here using fundamentals and action game i even show and explain and analyze my own gameplay why i do what i do i even explain what to do against invading and a lot of more topics for example monk mentality a lot of people complain about their team this topic will be helping you out as well and this is a fully worth it um course and i had that question so many times that's why i want to cover this real quick um should you getting solo coaching or the course the course is way more valuable and i could never cover that much in my solo coaching all right one more thing i want to say real quick i will be adding i thought about adding another course um on the season 14 okay let's take a look here i need to play the game a little bit here i mean i'm still double her yes let's just walk up she has no w i'm not gonna look she does a mistake and i'm just gonna punish her i'm gonna dodge this here use my old wasn't very complicated i could have flashed over the wall but even if she tried to disengage let's say she flashed she flashed away again no matter what the enemies do i get a good outcome so i would get the dragon i would get pressure i would get control i would get anything all the time no matter what and of course there are games that are so tough and i will also show you how to play from behind i mean maybe you, if you guys like like there, there, there are not that many games like i can maybe show you a challenger games where i struggle and just show you how to play from behind but th that's the thing like i i could not even show you many games where i play below master tier where i play from behind because i never really get into, it sounds arrogant i know i'm sorry but i legit don't even get into that position that many times because i played the early game too consistent and you can do the same now again i was wanting to add another course um and do an extra one but i thought this is not that smart and i want to also give those who already got the course if you get the course for you it will be the same um the option to watch all those videos as well so everybody who has the course or get the course right now i have it in the description will be getting all um those extra videos i will be uploading for free so i do not that do another course i will be increasing the price here on the other hand in two to four weeks and then uh yeah the course will still be valuable for the 140 euros but you can get it now for 100 okay now i'm gonna stop talking about it. i'm sorry for that but let's get it started. like i don't know what to say like when i do coaching also when i do one-on-one -on -one coaching like i have so many people who already say, say this that like the game just gets usually that's how it should be very very easy okay we're gonna finish all our camps and then we're gonna play for the next fundamental that is playing for your win conditions i'm gonna try to play either for seraphine pantheon we have three win conditions here that is me pantheon and seraphine because through all those we're gonna win i do want to reset because i have rage but i'm just gonna walk closer want to go for enemy wrap up and see if she does a mistake okay i'm gonna wait until she uses her e okay she's gonna use her e she's gonna flash away i'm gonna try to just kill the katarina here i think my flash was not necessary could have been a little bit better because technically speaking there could be an ash arrow flying to my uh, head so this was a pretty in inconsistent i would say okay the wrap up is moving so someone is nearby here okay i'm just gonna try it yeah it's a little bit too aggressive i think i'm gonna try to take the plan and just get out i could be just killing the vi and nami and be in a very good position but i don't think it's wor worth it because it's inconsistent and technically speaking there could still be an ash arrow coming and i just don't want to risk my life i don't want to risk the game for zero reason at all i do have a very good reset now i'm just gonna go for herod and look out for ending the game which is another tip i always want to give from my coachings 
How do you end the game now? You, there are a lot of people who also can get into this normal position, but how do you now actively end the game? How do you make sure that you win um, the game now? Because a lot of people just dance, dance in a, in a corner, do nothing, hang around, walk with people, try to get catches, and that's about it. That is terrible. You win the game by getting the objectives and pressuring with it. We have two dragons. We can play for the dragon. Win condition soul, yes. But it's way better to pressure with all what we have. So we're gonna use Herod. What are we how are we gonna use it? This we can give to Yasa, it's a little bit better. Yeah, I'm gonna give it to actually. I can give it to Yasa. I could have also taken it because I'm an absolute monster right now. I'm really fat and I can just use the lead even more. I'm going to get the Scuttle here and then I'm just going to think I'm going to use Herod instantly bot lane. Yeah, I'm going to do so because we see Darius on top side. I do want Yasu to roam bot lane. We also have mid lane prior. So even if nothing's going to work out with the Herod, I still get all the prior and everything. Okay, I'm just going to charge, get the tower. Technically speaking, I can disengage. Knock him up. Okay, Katarina's here. I'm just gonna attack the minions here. Now I'm gonna attack the tower. Very simple. Okay, Katarina tries to engage. I'm just gonna kill her very easily. I'm just gonna run at them. We see Ash and Army both no old. Briar is not close. We see Darius top lane, so I'm not scared. I'm just gonna try to attack him here. Q the minion again. Now we have uh, four people on the map. We don't know where Briar is, but Briar can't stop a solo, so I'm just gonna attack this tower as well, considering to rotate mid lane. We do have a wave here. I think we can potentially even get the full tower. Technically speaking, enemy chickens are up as well, so I'm gonna take the plant and the enemy's FF already. Same as the last time I did this coaching. Now, again, guys. L okay, there was a quick one. That was a pretty quick one, but let me know. Um, I can also. <laughs> How do I do this properly? Like, I can show you games from Challenger where we play from behind, where we struggle. I can show you, um, like, games in Diamond, also with other champions. But I think in the beginning, it's best if I still show a lot of Masi because people want to see my year lot. They want to see me conquer. And it doesn't matter which champion I play. It's more about that I play it consistently well. Even if I play Chogav right now, I could claim to Challenger with all the knowledge. Good luck in your games, and I hope I see you on my streams, my friend. Have a beautiful day.